so this is facebook so let me just quickly refresh on um, facebook ads then we'll jump right into what we are about to do now if we see the way um, facebook is you constantly have to have in mind that people on the platform are there for something else so if you are there sending out um putting out adverts most likely the adverts you're going to be putting out are going to be using a distraction technique what do we mean these people did not come to this platform to look for your ads so they came for other reasons they came to see their friends their family they came to, to talk to their classmates and all that so so i said that um on facebook it is a distraction technique that is used so whatever we are putting out must be good enough to distract people from what they actually came there for so for the um to run ads we all we have all we all know now that um every facebook ads run on the page the first thing you should do is to create a page so how do you create a page um you come to this part and you um, click on it you click create click on create and you create a page so i'm not going to go over that again so you create a page you deposit money into your ad account then you um run your ads so to run your ads all right so as i was saying people are on this platform for other things so they want to see their friends okay. then adverts shows on the, the, screen is showing the news feed and um this is the right column this area so to get to where we are going to we're just going to go to the plus sign here and we're going to click on ad manager i'm going to click on add sorry if it's the old interface you see manage ads so it's going to load and uh, redirect us to a different platform from what we are seeing here where we can now run our ads so we have all these ad objectives um we have the traffic we have the engagement we have the video views we have the lead generation we have the conversion so now to use the conversion ads we must use um something called the facebook pixel so the facebook pixel is a piece of code is a piece of code installed on our website that sends information back to facebook now this information is used to help people take valuable action on your website so it's a piece of code embedded in your website that sends information back to facebook now what this does is that it's going to improve the quality of people that your ad is going to be reaching out to because it's your facebook uh, facebook ad glory team is going to be looking for people that are most likely to take those actions you want them to take now look at this for example if you look at here you see show your ads to people most likely to take valuable actions like making a purchase adding uh, payment info um so so many things so many things like that add to cart um sign up button all those things so you can track all these things with a facebook pixel all right so to install a facebook pixel the first thing we're going to do is we are going to go to so let me give us an example of people that use facebook pixel so you some of us might have been to um, websites like jumia.com and you want you you really you really didn't want to no want to buy something but you wanted to just um see the pictures um know the prices or something most times maybe a phone or a shoe or a hand, an handbag or something and you discovered that after making that research after seeing all the things you wanted to see you um after seeing all the things you wanted to see you 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 did not buy you left 
But you discovered that after that day, you kept seeing that same ad. What are they doing? They are using a retargeting method using the Facebook pixel. So if you look at my screen now, so you're going to see that here we have, uh, we have ads manager, we have ad accounts, we have billing, we have audience, we have business settings, we have events manager. So everything that um, to activate your pixel, you're just going to go to where you see events manager. You're going to click on that. Then you're going to go and open the website where you intend to install the pixel. So for, for now, let's say we want to install our pixel. Let's look for a website we can use to install the pixel. So now, it's not just a website you can install your pixel. You can install your pixel on ESPs. Like if you're using Katra, Katra, if you have a page on Katra. So there are so many platforms that support you installing your pixel. No, it's not just on WordPress or on um, PHP Site Builder platforms. This is Hugo. Let me quickly log into a website where we can um, install the pixel. So this is how a pixel account looks like when there is nothing on it yet. So if you come to Event Manager, you click on Event Manager. When it loads, it's going to take you to somewhere like this. So, so first, let's open the website. Let's open our C panel. So let's click on this connect data source button. We choose the web option. Please, are you with me? Please, are you with me? Please. I need you to pay attention right now. Are we together? All right. Then we get started. Then we choose the pixel. Then we name. So we're naming the pixel. Then we'll copy the primary URL of our website. And click on continue. So we have successfully created a pixel. It's that simple. So now it has Lex Olo's pixel here and the ID is here. After clicking after clicking um, events manager, yes, you just get to the link and, and place it there. That's all. After clicking events manager, it will ask it will say that there's no data source. Look at this. After click, that's why I opened it in two places. After clicking events manager, huh? This is what it should show. Yeah. Connect yeah. connect data source. Okay. So after this connects data source, mm. it will ask you to put in to name the pixel. To name the the ID, are we together? Okay. After you name it, then you can now mm. put put in your primary URL. So once you have your events created, once you have the ID created, so you can now continue to set up your pixel. So to continue setting up your pixel. So if you look at it now, there is no activity here. So to do that, you click on continue pixel setup. 
then it's going to ask you that um how do you intend to um, install it so there are two options you either use the partner integration if you click on partner integration you're going to see so many other platforms that you can just integrate easily to um, Facebook Pixel. So if you are using any of this platform, it's very sweet and easy to integrate to Pixel. So you can see there's WordPress here. It's going to make it very, very easy. So if you click here, you're going to see install code manually. Install code manually. So if you choose on this install code manually, it's going to give you a piece of code. This is the piece of code here. Yeah. So you are going to copy this code. So we're going to copy this code. We have copied the code and continue. So that code, that piece of code we copied Let's see if we actually copied it. Let me test it here and see if to paste. Okay, so we did, we did copy, copy it. So the piece of code we copied, we are gonna bring it to our WordPress website. That's if you are using WordPress. To install the pixel, you're just gonna to go to your dashboard. And you're going to go to where you see appearance now under appearance you can go to where you see team editor team editor so you click on team editor so you click on you click on team editor so the team editor is going to open like this So it opens the codes of the team. So look for the header area. So there are two, there are two places I, uh, that it's easy to paste it. You can just look for the header. So this is the header. So you can paste the code. So let's check below if we can put it below. After the last piece of code. So let's look this up. So you can see what's written here now. It says file edited successfully. So we have successfully um, placed in the Facebook pixel on the website. So I successfully put that on the website. So there is pixel now on this website. So this piece of code we have installed, we have embedded in this website would we'll now start sending um, information back to Facebook. All right, now the next step to it is that we would now go back and add an event. So it's two things. Number one, you have the pixel installed on your website. Number two, tell the pixel what you want to track. That's where we say add an event. So the pixel being on your website does not mean you can now start um doing conversion ads you have to track a specific event so that that event is what um, the conversion ads is going to optimize for now using the, installing the facebook pixel to come to add event i will say Then we click on open setup event to 
then we'll paste the website here. Then we'll click here. Okay, yeah, it's, it has opened now. We can track buttons on this page or URLs or a URL. So what we can do now is come here and click on this track. So the pixel now has circled everything on this site that we should track whatever we want to track. So for example, this start course button, if I click on it, once I click on it, I can select the event that this button connotes. So I can say that this button is, is add to cart, is initiated checkout, is a lead, is a purchase. Now, let me explain so that you get this, so I don't get confused. Now, depending on the, 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 uh, the kind of conversion as you want to run, you need to explain it not just to Facebook, to yourself, so that you don't get it all mixed up. Now, somebody taking the first step that might not necessarily lead to sales, but might lead to giving you their contact details, should be categorized as a lead. Somebody that is taking a step that is towards buying. At least the person is already um is clicking on a buy now button, is doing you can put it at add to cart. So the, my, my, my favorite ones are um, the add to cart or the purchase. All right. So if I could just say, so there are so many of them, add to payment info, add them um, to wish list and all that. So whatever all this, whatever this person connotes, you can now track that. If I say add to cart, for example, I can now value uh, I can now choose the value of what that person does. Remember, conversion ads are ads that track, um, they, are, they, are, they are made to track valuable actions on your website. So they want to be able to, that's why you see in a Facebook ad campaign, somebody says that we spent, um, we spent 2,000 Naira and we got 22,000 Naira. And you are seeing everything on that dashboard. It is because the person has, put a value using this conversion ads he has used a value to rate it so so you can choose a value and here you can say you can choose the occurrence but me i don't like using it i just i just leave it like that so it's optional because i don't use it doesn't mean you should not you shouldn't use it so the only thing is that um facebook will not be able to cal calculate my roi that's my return on investment so i would calculate my own return on invest investment myself so that's that so once you're done with that then you confirm it so once we confirm it so you can see now that this button has been tracked so the start cost button has been tracked as a add to cart. So if I click here on finish, there's a preview. I could delete it if I'm not comfortable with what I did. Then I can now click on finish. And then I'm done and I've been able to track an event.